What's going on, everybody? Here and welcome back to Outpath. Today we are continuing our journey. We're gonna get this guy done. We're gonna get this thing done. We're gonna hopefully get a new land set up and even more automation because automation is how the, we just make the world go around. You know, with the automation. So, um, yeah, hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. Can't complain. But before we get going any further, I want to give a huge uh, shout out just basically to everybody for uh, supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Also. Um, we, I figured out something and I wanted to just, just discuss this before, cause you're going to see a change, a little bit of a change here. And that is if you go into settings and you go to graphics, there's actually a pixelation button here, a slider. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right now, I love it at zero. So you can see the text nice and crisp and clear. And basically it just kind of makes things look, um, they're still pixelated, but it, it gets rid of like the, like, see how nice and sharp the lines and everything are now. Like it, the lines are sharp around the pixelated objects. I love it. This is like this is my favorite uh look of this it almost feels like um like it almost feels like the um it feels closer to like the the minecrafty uh like you know like how they, like the animations are like they're so different than the actual gameplay <gasps> wait a second we might actually get enough oh no we're not gonna get enough leather because we decided that we needed uh two hide per leather right yeah, I believe that's what it was. So we got to get that going. But we got all kinds of fun things today. And like I said, hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. I can't complain. So let's, without further ado, get on into this. So uh, let's see. We have copper tools that we can go ahead and make, which we probably should go ahead and get all of those made as well. And um, we always, of course, are going to need more. We're going to need more automated things, you know? Like we just, we just got to have more of them. I'm going to get you. Maybe I'm not. Really? Come on, come on, let me get you. Wow. Got it. <laughs> okay, that's our aqua butterfly. Um, okay. So yeah, we've got all kinds of things. Like I said, I want to get into this. Uh, let's actually see what we have for left for the research table here. We've got a slayer. Entrance to your personal cave where rare minerals and ores appear more frequently. Um allows you to read really important letters. What is this thing? I wonder what this thing is. Advanced workbench. What is that? Stone, copper ingot, and brick. I wonder if the advanced workbench is the one that you can like auto craft stuff. Hmm. I don't know. What do we do? We have 1800. Do we go for a cave entrance? Let's go for the cave entrance. Why not? We'll get that researched up. Ooh, I need you. I got it. <gasps> and guess what? We have enough. Okay. Ooh, those give us, uh, those give us like the, the research points. Oh, very interesting. I was wondering what those did. I wasn't a hundred percent sure what they did anymore. Um, okay. So three leather. Hold on. Let's see if we go into here, we go to attraction cave. Oh, plus one meter pickup range. Uh, this we need thread, which is no problem, but hide. We need one more hide and then we'll be able to go ahead and make our three leather for this guy. Then we need 150 wood and 15, oh, 15 copper ingots. My goodness. Uh, let's get our, I guess let's get our pickaxe out. And well, we need our pickaxe and our, our axe and we need to go to town. All right. So I did a little bit of collecting here. We got, uh, I got like nine copper ingots going. We got some string made. Uh, we're, we're looking good on stuff. I think we're going to go ahead and expand the island though. I think we're going to go ahead and use our, use 800 of our points. Go ahead and expand out and see. <gasps> oh, wonder. That's actually fantastic. Oh, what is this? A live creature spawn 10% faster. Skill unlocked. Okay, see, this is where I'm kind of... Shiny resources will appear with an eight times loot and 10 times credits. There's shinies? <gasps> oh, buddy, let's go. Okay, see, this is exactly what I needed. I needed more, um, we needed more like space for our um, copper deposits to spawn so we can actually get more, you know what I mean? Um, I'm actually kind of curious on the skills though. I think, I feel like the, I, we used to have to deal with the skills through there, I thought. But I thought there was like ways to like upgrade certain skills and get certain skills and like, like see what you had, but I, you know what? I don't actually remember now. Okay, so we have enough wood now for this guy. So let's do that. That gives us another 600 points. And then do we have another... We don't have another cow anywhere yet, do we? I don't see one. I saw a chicken over here. Hello, my chicken friend. I feel like I should just be getting eggs from you for now. Well, you know what, though? I actually need... 
I really need the meat. <laughs> Let's be real. We need that meat so we can survive. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this copper one too. Um, okay, apparently I need six more copper. <gasps> hey, it's a chicken! All right, I need a cow. We need one more cow. One more cow, and then we'll be able to do the leather. And then I'll knock out all of these. And then 1,600 for that one. So I'm pretty sure what how this works is we expand this until we the biome is a certain size, and then it's gonna say like it's gonna create like a teleport or something. If I'm not mistaken, I can't can't remember exactly. <gasps> oh, we got a shiny rock. It's a shiny coal deposit. We got 12 coal and seven was it seven stone off of that and we got a whole bunch of uh we got a whole bunch of uh points off of that too that's awesome oh my gosh we got a sh we got a shiny grass <gasps> oh that's so funny <laughs> shiny grass oh my gosh i love it okay so let's see can we get more yes more copper is going fantastic that should be we should be getting enough well nope oh there's four copper ingots okay so there's four more so we only need two more copper ingots for that and then i need another we need another cow i've not seen another cow anywhere all right so there's the two copper there you go another 600 points there then we need three of those okay let's go ahead and expand the biome again Ta -da! okay where do we go where do we get now Oh, another book, another book. Impatience reduces craft time by 15%. Heck yeah. And oh, another book. Handy, switch to the correct tool automatically. Oh my gosh, yes. The upgrade, that is the best thing ever. Now we don't have to switch our hand. We don't have to switch our tools. <laughs> it's so good. So basically you can just run around and holding the button. And uh... so we must, we must not be able to select these anymore. Because I'm almost positive there was like a, um, there was, you had to put, you, I think you used research points in order to unlock some of these um, abilities. But it doesn't seem like we do that anymore, so. Um, I like it. Finding books and stuff like that, finding like areas as you expand, kind of gives you a reason to like, you know, keep expanding and stuff. So, I like it. Oh, we got a shiny tree. Super shiny tree. Let's go. I like the shiny stuff. That's really cool. Um, and we got... 150 research points and then we got 17 wood sorry turtle i'm so sorry but i had to take you out oh <gasps> yes cow all right so that is going to be enough for us to do this last one right here so let's go into here let's go into leather max craft and then what is this Attraction cape. I'm not really worried about that right now. I'd rather get this thing going and see what's going on here. We have enough for another uh, biome expansion. Uh, do we go ahead and do we do? Oh, you know what? I need to get some meat cooking here. Let's get some meats. Uh, max 14. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get another biome expansion. Well, you know what? Should we unlock things? Or should we? Let's expand the biome. <laughs> okay, so now it doesn't grow more. Sorry. Okay, so it's over there. So now, if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna have to like start, we're gonna have to portal to another land. Okay, so we've, we've maxed out this area. Let's check out these books here. Frequency, fish, did it say fish spawn 20% more often? Move speed increased by 10%? Ooh. All right, all right, I can dig it. Well, now there's cows everywhere. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on some of our upgrades. So I'm going to need some copper. We're going to get all of our copper tools upgrade. Oh, shoot. I need... Um, don't I have any... Do I have any food ready to go? Oh, I don't. Bummer. Let's go over here and grab our food. Let's say I should have meats ready to go. Perfect. All right, so there's those. So I need to get some more food cooking, too. Uh, leather. We have a total of three. Okay, here it is. Give item leather. We've done it. We've we've done it. We've done the thing. Wait. So, <laughs> um, a little curious. How do we get to the other islands now? Wait. Hold on a second. There's an island right there. How, how do we get to that one? That just popped up. 
I don't think that was there before, was it? I don't think it was. We see anything new on here? How do I get over there? I have no idea. We have a shiny sand. You can always use shiny sand. Interesting. Okay, I guess it might be time to do some research here. Um, Let's see. Do I have any stuff for copper? Max, let's get those going. We're going to go ahead and get my tools upgraded. Uh, we'll get... We need to probably go ahead and hit up the rest of our... Uh, let's see. No, not there. Probably need... Oh my gosh. Okay, we unlocked a lot of things here. Yeah, we got a lot of things here to unlock. Um, Jeez. Well, hold on. Let's see what we got. So what is this? Water pump extracts water capsules from the sea. I don't know why I would need that right away. Design investigation table allows you to unlock new decorations and parts of builds. Recycler allows you to turn some plants into ingredients. The advanced workbench allows you to craft basic magical items. Let's get the advanced workbench. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I gotta take out these cows though. Basically, we need these cows for uh, food and leather anyways. And actually, let's see, can we go in here and make... Oh, sticky fishing rod. My old manageable attracts fish treasures easily. Oh, iron bug net. Oh, there's more things. Quiver. Um, okay, what does this take? Oh, attraction cave. It doesn't take anything. Well, let's go and craft that. It took, it took uh, feathers, which we already had, so that's good. What is this? Loot from treasure chests and barrels are multiplied by 50%. I don't even have, we've never even hit that yet. So it must be good. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a shiny rock. Is that it? It was, I think that was it. <laughs> I saw a big ring. I was like, wait a second. Is this something special? No, nah, not really. <laughs> okay, so let's look at our anvil here. So we've got... Allows you to see the range of certain buildings. Oh, nice. Okay, copper axe is going to require two copper ingots. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft that. Let's go ahead and get back in here. Let's go ahead and copper ingot, max, craft four more of those bad boys. We're gonna try to get all of our stuff upgraded to copper. And then we gotta figure out how to get to the other island. I'm gonna guess that it is based on something here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What is this? Collector gathers items from a specific floor. From the floor specified by filters can hold up to nine types of items. Oh, so when, uh, so basically when your breaker's breaking stuff, you can select one of these blocks and it'll automatically pick up the goodies for you. That is a, a handy block to have. I feel like getting over here might be beneficial. Let's go to the magic stuff. We'll research that up. How's our, our ax? Oh, come on. Almost there, buddy. And we got an ax. Okay, so now let's get a, um... Ooh, an iron axe. Allows you to reduce crafting time by clicking structure by 5%. Let's go with the copper sword. Let that do its thing. All right, and then while that does that, let's see. What else can we do here? You know, what does it actually take to build the machinery and deforce? What does it actually take to build? Glass, copper, and brick. Okay. And there's our copper sword. Okay. So let's see what other copper things we can get builders glasses up. Oh, the copper shovel. Let's get that going. And then we probably should get the hammer as well. But I'm thinking we need another breaker thing. Where should we put another breaker? Because I was trying to think, I think like right up here might be good. I was thinking actually like right here, like right here, because it might break these, this whole area and this whole area right here for us. So, you know, what? actually, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do this here. Do I have the stuff? I need four glass and two bricks. Okay, well, let's get that going. Uh, glass should be in here. Oh, we can make 41. Let's not do that. Let's make like 10 <laughs> to start with <laughs> because I'm going to need some bricks in there as well. I guess I could make more of the uh, equipment too. All right, so let's see. Get more research, stuff research here. What is this? Imbuing table allows you to craft magic weapons. Um, oh, that's right. The magic branch, the black bone, and the brick. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think the magic weapon was like the best thing in the pre, like the pre, the, the, like the, the prelude game. There was a magic weapon. I think that you could use it for everything, and it was just absolutely amazing. <laughs> I think. It was like super overpowered. You could just like blast through everything. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. But I'm also trying to figure out where the heck 
do we get our teleporter? <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe I should, let's get the letterbox. Maybe the letterbox. It says to get important for letters. Maybe I need the letterbox. Maybe I shouldn't be overlooking that one right now. You know what? We're gonna, we need more stuff. Uh, let's get another, oh yeah, we can get a couple furnaces. Check this out. Let's do that. And then I can go into these and then we can select. Okay, so I want more cooked meat. Uh, let's max that out. I can go into here. I want some bricks. Let's max those out. Oh, let's half that. Coal's an issue. And then I can go in here. And then do we have any cooked fish? Get those going. See, that's so much better. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I was just doing one thing at a time. Okay, I think I have enough for the um, the thing now. Let's see. Machinery and deforestation, this guy. So that'll cover... Oh yeah, that'll cover almost... All right, we'll do that. We'll do that there. It doesn't cover this corner right here though, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, I think it'll be fine. Okay, so what is this mailbox? So you can put it like right here. Okay, so what does that do? You're only aware of yourself. People became faceless, but at least you made it. You won't suffer anymore. Your new life begins here. Try not to overthink it and everything will go smoother. Huh. Okay. Not sure that did a whole lot for us, but hey, you know, you never know. What is this? Skills enhancer allows you to improve skills with credits. There it is. Okay. Research that. Glass and brick. Okay. See, that's what I was like. I was like, I'm almost positive there was a thing that we could do things with. It's just me not getting the stuff that I just, I'm supposed to be getting. <laughs> okay. So now we can make ourselves. Let's see. Hold on. We've got the glass. Okay. So we've got our skills enhancer. We've also got our cave entrance. So we still haven't done it. We haven't done anything with the cave yet. Uh, let's see. Let's put our skills enhancer right here for now. And let's check this bad boy out, shall we? Aha. See, this is what I was thinking. Switches to the handy tool automatically. Uh, reduces objects. See, this is this is what I was talking about. There's upgrades where you can make things like do like you can re like upgrade them. Oh, but it looks like you have to have the book to start with. Okay. Reduces craft time at 30%. Um, as you see important information, creatures spawn 20% faster. That's why we're starting to see more, um, cows and chickens and stuff like that. Move speed increased by 20%. Uh, resources, shiny resources will pull with eight times loot and 20, oh my gosh, 50,000. Reduce objects health by 16%. Um, fish spawn 40% more often. I don't think there's anything else in there. Reduce craft time. Okay. So let's see creatures spawn plant. I think we're good. So we have to get the book to start with, but then we can upgrade said book with uh, with more stuff. That's cool. I like that. That's neato. Um, okay, so now let's see what else we've got here. Uh, we uh, we actually crafted. You know what? We probably we probably need the cave entrance in order to get into um, the materials that we need. We might need iron and stuff like that. I need some wood. I turned all my wood into coal because I forgot. I was like, oh, wood turns into coal. Wonderful. Uh, so that way we can do a whole bunch of smelting. Okay, so we should be able to make... Let's get that magic thing going. I kind of want to check that out. Put that right there. And then we got interact. Okay, so we've got bottle, paper, magic branch, black bone, glass orb. Generates 15 credits every five seconds. <gasps> oh, I forgot about those. I forgot about these. Um, copper bell, you earn 0.5 credits per second while you are offline with a maximum of eight hours. Oh, wow. 20% chance of doubling gained credits. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's get one of these made 15 credits every five seconds. I mean, Hey, you know what? That's passive, uh, passive credits. Let's go. And then what does this take? Wood, flower, and flint. Okay. So we just need wood. Okay, cool. And then we'll get a magic stick, <laughs> a super magic stick. I should go ahead and sleep for the night, I guess. Uh, let's eat. A meat. Now I'm pretty sure these magic orbs, they just stack. I think they just stack in your inventory. And the more you have, the more you make, <laughs> you know? So uh, I guess we'll be on the lookout constantly for, I think it was blue butterflies, right? It was the blue ones. There it is. We've got a glass orb times one. All right. Um, Magic branch and black bone. I mean, okay, hold on. It's craft. I don't know what, oh, that's a material. Oh, that's a material. Oh, shell orb. Oh, they changed it. Okay, so so before, I think before you could just basically craft those other ones over and over again. So these ones you have now have to upgrade. So honey drool. Interesting. I'm not actually sure what these are all for then. Blackbone, because these are materials. 
Interesting. Okay, so we'll just leave those alone for now. All right, so the next order of business, I guess, is to get the cave. Uh, how many? Well, we have credits here. Hold on. Let's go ahead and check our credits. Let's charge this guy back up real quick. Uh, let's go into our research table. What, can else, what else can we unlock? So I don't know what this is. Hmm. Curious, what is this? This is a cauldron, a mill, recycler. The collector might be the way to go. You know what? Let's get to 4250 and let's get the collector going. Um, and then, oh, there's a butterfly, butterfly. You have, you're like, oh, actually, well, we only, we don't, we only needed the one, huh? Did you please get caught? Oh my gosh, finally. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get the 40, uh, we'll get the 4250 and then we'll go ahead and get, um, the collector unlocked. And then we can put those next to our miners, our breakers, and then those will hopefully auto start, you know, start automatically collecting stuff for us. All right, it's time for a collector. Research that bad boy. And then let's see, we needed the cave thing too. So let's see, where's our cave? Wood at cave entrance. Let's throw that down there. And let's go ahead and just sleep for the night real quick. Grab some food. Pop into here. And then we'll go check out the cave too. All right, let's go see what this cave has for us. Ooh. Ooh. A bunch of goodies. Wait, why can't I get any of this? Wait, can I only get the big stone? What about the little stuff on the ground? How come I can't they get the coals? And oh. What was that? Oh, amber. So I can't get this coal. I may have to look at it a certain way. Copper. That one says it's good. Interesting. This is uh this is a neat area. Oh, we're getting a lot of stone here. That's for sure. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm guessing this probably just randomly fills in with other stuff. I wonder why I can't get these coal nodes. Huh. It's weird. It's only the it's like it's only the coal. I can't get these coal nodes. I don't know why. All right. Well, I guess that's that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and exit the cave. And then did we get our uh, we got our, our thing finished? Awesome. Okay, so let's see here. What's next? Imbuing table. I'm trying to get to see what like what we actually need. Mill allows you to turn some plants into ingredients. I don't know what these are. Let's go and research this. Just I just want to see what we're getting into, you know. And then let's see what is a collector take. Uh, stone. Oh, it takes iron. Oh, well, shoot. So I still don't know how to get across the, um, I don't know how to get across the way. Actually, what if there's not a teleport anymore? What if I have to make fishnets to go over there? I don't think so. And it just doesn't seem right. All right. So we finished that. What is next here? What is this? Island core, when active, the current island will not deactivate when you leave it. You can only have one passive island. See? <laughs> okay, this is all cool and all, but how do I get to the other island? Maybe it's this? Maybe I have to research this, and then maybe this maybe this is actually like an island teleport. Maybe it gives you the island core. Oh, you oh my god. I'm an idiot. I never built I never built the advanced workbench. I never built the advanced workbench. I'm a, I'm a dummy. I completely, oh my gosh, people were screaming. Comments, guarantee it, advanced workbench. I am a dummy. Um, Hold on, okay, back back in here, back, no, okay. What in the heck just happened? Okay, get rid of all this, clear this out. All right, production, you. Whatever, it can be faced that way. What do we have in here? Arrow. Wooden bow, bow of gleam, iron crossbow, camera, ukulele. Every six seconds will charge all nearby builds. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, okay, well, never mind. I don't feel as dumb now because that obviously didn't help us in any way. Um, okay, let me make sure I built everything that I can so far. So we didn't get the imbuing table. We didn't get the passive island. I don't know if this is maybe a teleport or not. I just, I just feel like, hmm. I thought this thing right here last time turned into a teleporter because there's our next island right there. And I thought there was like a, I thought there was a thing that was on the island. <laughs> I don't know where it's at though. 
All right, well, you know what? That is going to end it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. I'm actually thinking about building those nets across <laughs> over there to see if we can get over there. Maybe the whole teleporty thing is gone? I have no idea. I don't honestly know. That's why I'm trying to, like, research stuff and get, some more, get more things researched. Just, you know, seeing what's going on. Our increases total attack damage by 10% why have i not made that oh it's because it needs iron so see i feel like i'm definitely supposed to be at the other island by now because a lot of things require iron now and we don't have iron um that's the next island kind of thing so next uh, next episode we'll get it figured out hopefully you guys enjoyed it, this one um but yeah thanks again for coming out have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye everybody